Hello everyone, Mr. Market here, and today I'm doing a new series where I'm going to show you how to uh, code a HTML website from scratch. And we're just going to be using a free hosting to use the site to actually put it online for other people to use. And we're going to be using Triple Zero Web Host for that. Um, I won't really show you too much on the trip or like the Triple Zero Web Host stuff, um, but I will show you how to set one up and stuff. Uh, so, so all we're going to be using really to code it is on a notepad. Because everyone has a notepad and it does the job just fine. But if you want to be advanced and like use Notepad Plus Plus because that helps you with like um, the tags and stuff, like highlight, highlighting certain things. Um, you can use that too. But for the people that are watching this that have never done something like this before, if you just use a Notepad. It's just as good. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so pretty much HTML is one of the simplest languages I know and it's pretty easy it's easy to learn um, so I'll show you I'm literally going to show you how to set up a simple website and then hopefully you can use like what I've taught you and make a better website sort of thing um, so first of all every HTML website you need to start off with the HTML tag um, and when you're closing a tag you need to put the forward slash there to let you know, to let it know you're closing now Everything we're going to be doing is going to be inside the HTML tag. Um, so, inside here, we want to add a body tag because the body is like what makes you in here is what makes up the website. Um, so, that is the body tag. Uh, and inside here, we can have title and then slash title. And in what this is is if we open the browser, um, and whilst I'm here, I'll show you what to do. If you got sign into Triple Zero Web Host and come onto the create a new account place, you can either enter your own domain or, but that costs money, which I'm going to be showing you how to do for free. Uh, you can choose a subdomain, uh, which I'll just be calling tutorial. Uh, and the password, uh, I don't know. And I'll set up my new account. So we've got that. Um, so we want to go back onto accounts list, uh, go to the tour, the C panel, and we'll just leave that there for now. So we come back into Notepad. Uh, title of the page is what I wanted to show you. If you look up here, we've got the triple zero webpost.com members area. That's what the title is up here. Uh, so we come in here and I'll just put tutorial website. Leave that like that. And we'll just save this, see if it works. So you control F. And when you want to save it, because this will be our home page, so let's we'll just call this index.html. Uh, you need to save it as .html to let it know what type of file it is. Uh, so yeah, we save that. And that'll be on the desktop. Uh, so you right click this and open with, and I'll open with my browser. Um, obviously we've added nothing so the site's plain, but as you can see we got up here tutorial website. so we know it's working uh, with this is just running from local but I'll show you how to put it on to the website soon uh, so that's that let's add some more things uh, first of all we can add some text on the page um, so you can just use P I believe add some text inside here we can type uh, example text save that I'm just going to and refresh that as you can see we've got some example text um, if we want that to be in the center it's pretty straightforward we use the center tag and make sure that it is wrapped inside the center tag otherwise it will not be centered uh, so again now that's in the center so it's 
it's as simple as that really uh, it requires a lot of fan around um, but I will be showing you how to build on to this website um, so we can work if we want everything to be centered uh, we can just do everything inside this center tag uh, we can also use uh, the tag font and this allows us to control like the text so we can change the size the color like the actual font itself you can do a whole range of things using the font tag um, for all the British people I know I forget it a lot but uh, HTML uses the American spelling of color so uh, there's no U like this you just, it's just C C O L O R and that is equal to red you can also use the um, the, the numbers of the hashtag the like six digit numbers so I think it's either white or black is six zeros uh, like that you can use them numbers too uh, but you can also use the standard colors by using the actual name so we'll do that and we'll uh, end, the ta end that with the font tag again and the text in here should be red we save that and open that we've got some red text uh, we can also, oops, we can also do the, the size, uh, so we font size equals, and this is just the number, so like 20 font, 60 font, you, you get to choose really, so I'll show with 20 and we'll close the font tag again, um, we'll just put bigger text save that now we've got some bigger text and you'll realize that they are next to each other now we don't really want them to be next to each other so if you come into the code uh, and between these two lines here you can just type br there's no need to close the tag uh, that just is a line break so if we save that uh, as you can see now we've got the line break between there and that is that um, you can also use the tag HR which will draw a line right across the screen so if you want to split things up uh, so that is that but I'll remove actually no that can stay uh, another thing you can do is insert images or pieces of audio, any media you can sort of insert. Um, if we just hop onto Google images and just type smiley face, we can get an image. Now there's two ways to do this. Obviously you want your project to be organized so if you just create a new folder and I'll call this uh, website, if we put index into here if we open this website folder we want everything to be organized so if we make a new folder inside here called images we open that uh, we can save this image to our desktop put that in there um, a smiley face into the images folder and we'll rename this to something simple so we can uh, just call it easier so the way I was going to show you we can right click this image and uh, copy image address now if we come into the code and we type img src which means image source equals uh, and we just paste the link like that and we just close the image tag there we save that it will display the image on our site but it's massive uh, yeah because I've got one uh, a large amount of pixels uh, let's grab a smaller one uh, we'll just take they're all pretty big um, 
take this one here for now. Copy this image address. Paste that. Now we've got the image there. But you can't always count on this being online. So for example, if this website goes offline, your image is then going to go offline. So you can save this. Uh, again, put it into the website folder. And what's happened is if we just close this, because we was using, we want to open this one now. Put this smiley face in images. So if we come into the code, we can also, so if we remove this, we can type, because this will take files from the directory uh, of this folder, the website folder, so we type images and then smile one and the file was a jpeg file so we save that and if we come back in load that ah, because we have the wrong we need to reopen it from here as I move the file The image is broken, so this is a JPEG file and smile one. Maybe I don't need that. Yeah, so you don't need the first slash there. So it's going into the images folder and then taking the smile one dot JPEG image and displaying it on our screen. Uh, you can also, if we put uh, website backgrounds, we take a background, literally copy this, come into the code and type body bg equals And that is the body. Close that tag. Save that. And that didn't seem to work. Uh, let's change this to background. So there we go. So it's background instead of BG, but yeah, we got the background of the image. And like, you just need to be. Like if you want a good site, you've obviously got to put a lot of work and effort into it. But if you'd open Photoshop, remove this background, or get a picture that's transparent. Um, but I'll show you a few more things, and we'll do the rest in the next part. If you come back into your code, and we can use uh, some different text now. So we'll put another break here because we're on a new line. And we'll use the P tags again inside here we'll use U. Make sure you close the U. And uh, U stands for underlined in HTML so we will now have some underlined text. Uh, there's also an I tag which you could probably work out is italics or italics whatever you call it. Uh, and there's also a B tag which stands for bold so we can have some bold text there we go We've got some bold italic underlined text so you've pretty much got the idea of how you can make some text in your screen add images uh, use the lines so that's like the basics of a website I know it's really bad uh, Obviously, it's up to you to use to your own imagination and stuff. 
but I will show you now how to upload it to the server. So, if you come into here and op open up the file manager, uh, you want to type in your password. Uh, what you want to do is come into the public.html folder, uh, highlight default.php and delete it. And press the tick. Go back and you want to upload. Uh, choose the file. Go to your desktop. And you want to click website. Uh, index we pick that and there's a tick and because we have a folder we're going to want to go back into the files here we want to create a new directory and we made it images so you type images uh, and then press the tick we go back we open our images upload choose file, go into the images and pick our smile one image, press open now uh, we press the tick we can go back if we uh, copy the website which we, whatever you named yours we copy that so remove we go to that we should be given our website now this is actually on the net you could go on that and see this if you really want uh, so that's really it that's all it is to it I know the site's bad I was, that was, I was just showing you like the basics of the tags and stuff I mean there is a lot more tags there is available but these ones are pretty much the basics of getting something up and running uh, again if you use Google there's a nice website called W3 Schools everything you need is on there literally everything uh, but hopefully I'm gonna see how well this video does this was recommended to me um, if you did like it please leave a comment if you want to see the next part and I'll do it if not I might just leave it here it was just like a sort of an experiment sort of video if you did like it please be sure to drop a like leave a comment and I'll see you next time